Don't ask questions, according to Congressman Dan Crenshaw of Texas, asking questions like that are really any questions at all. Thinking you're a citizen makes you quote, pro-Russia. The bad arguments that our side is making is very depressing and they're almost pro-Russia. People are saying, well, we can't put baby formula on our shelves but we're sending money to Ukrainians. And my response to that is, you know how much baby formula you can buy with $40 billion? None. None, because it's not a money issue, it's a manufacturing issue. It is not America first when you let Russia and China do whatever they want around the world and establish their version of a global order. That puts America last because we cannot prosper in a global order led by Russia and China. Yeah, do you have any idea what you're talking about, Dan Crenshaw? No, but the point is anyone who disagrees with Dan Crenshaw is pro-Russia, frankly. Well, frankly, Denton Crenshaw is attempting to deflect from answering obvious questions like why the concern over Ukraine's borders and no concern about the border of your own state, Texas. You know, the more I think about it, it takes a lot of gall for I Patch McCain to attack moms who are worried about baby formula as quote pro-Russia. I mean, that's probably one of, that's one of the most outrageous things I think I've ever heard. Did you hear that part? As this debate rages about uh, the, the the aid that's supposed to get sent to Ukraine and Dan Crenshaw is in favor of it, uh, Tucker Carlson isn't very happy about it. So he called him there, I patch McCain, maybe as a shot at him, maybe to discredit him and his positions there. And you can have critical positions on his position. It's just weird how the name calling is what Tucker Carlson went to. It mostly stands out because Tucker Carlson and Fox News had issues with other people calling Dan Crenshaw names when they disagreed with him. Let's look at this graphic from um, <laughs> from ACYN over on Twitter. Pointed out that back, um, I'm not even sure when this is from, but apparently Pete Davidson and SNL were making fun of Dan Crenshaw and he's a veteran. And the chyron there at the bottom says, SNL sinks to new low by insulting wounded veteran. <laughs> what did uh, Tucker Carlson call him again? I patch McCain. Oh, that's not an insult. It's actually it's a it's a nice nice name for someone. In fact, he uh, he loves our veterans and he supports the military, except when he disagrees with them and he can do whatever the hell he wants apparently. So also, uh, John McCain's daughter, which you could understand, chimed in as well. She tweeted about this because she definitely always stands up for her father. That's one thing we can always uh, give her credit for. She says this is just trash. That being said, I'm sure Dan Crenshaw doesn't mind the comparison. Again, the comparison to her dad, her, her uh, <laughs> late father. Who, of course, is a veteran as well. Um, also, one more part about this before I let you jump in. Um, because people were making those comparisons. They pointed this thing out. Here's one of the headlines. Fans are recalling that particular moment when Pete Davidson had to apologize to Dan Crenshaw after Tucker Carlson called him eye patch McCain. Remembering that moment. Now, Pete Davidson apparently apologized to Crenshaw. I wonder if tonight on Tucker's show, he's gonna apologize to Dan Crenshaw. Are you looking for that? What? No, I'm not, but I'm I'm always tickled whenever Tucker Carlson takes on a fake populist veneer or posture, right? Like, yeah. oh, what about the people who need <laughs> baby formula? I'm a man of the people. It's it's so ridiculous. But I, again, I'm I'm amused by this idea that Tucker Carlson is you know, he's he's against this on just the idea that like we don't need to be over there. Which I happen to agree with. Like I, I don't see why we should really care what the Russians are doing in Ukraine. Um, the idea that anybody would come in here and say, "Oh, you're not allowed to treat Canada like that," or "You're not allowed to treat Mexico like that," like the U.S. would be like, "Are you out of your mind?" You know. So I, I'm actually um, in lockstep with Tucker Carlson here. Like, yeah, we should probably be more worried about things that are happening here domestically than sending 40 billion more dollars to Halliburton. But do you buy that argument? That's not that's what their argument is, but that's not what they mean. Uh, like, of course this, not. Of course not. I so think there's, Tucker, so there's a different reason. Yeah, Tucker Carlson just wants another excuse to be xenophobic and talk about Mexico. Um, I don't think that he actually cares where this money is going and how much is being spent or single moms not being able to get food to their babies. Obviously not. I think this is just a, a, a roundabout way to be anti-immigrant. Well, and also, even when it all happened, he seemed to be pretty much in favor of this invasion in the first place. Not even saying like we should be away from it. He's saying like this is great because <laughs> there's there's the implications that I think help his narrative when he talks about this. I'm not sure what his plans are for world domination, but I guess he wants everyone to listen and believe him. But he definitely has these these 
he carries the water for folks like this. And I think that's part of his problem. And I'm not sure if it's part of a ratings thing. It's really hard to find any motivations for people who have zero principles. So if, as I look into any reasons why, if, even if you agree with what Tucker Carlson's saying, I just gotta be cautious about what it is he's trying to say because it might get lumped on with me too. So we can talk about the money, we can talk about how things could be done better at home, but Tucker's not talking about that at all.